Hello, in this video I'm going to show the interaction between Photomechanic 5 and Lightroom 5. The first thing we're going to need to do is go and check the preference settings in each application. So let's go to the Photomechanic 5 menu and go to Preferences. The first page we should go to is going to be the General Preference page. Just go over to the right hand side and click on our Snapshot menu button and select the Adobe Lightroom entry and that's going to essentially change the first five color labels to be the red, yellow, green, blue, and purple used by Lightroom. I've also added the general audience and a private and our trash. The next page you should go to is going to be the files preference page. You should check the box here at the lower left to always update the XMP label when changing color class. Okay, and the third page we should go to is going to be the IPTC slash XMP page. You just need to uncheck this one box up here in this section when writing IPTC slash XMP for TIFF based RAW photos, the non DNGs. This is checked by default. You should uncheck that so Photo Mechanic always writes the updates to an XMP sidecar file which is where Lightroom will write its updates and also look first for any new updates. Okay, we can click the OK button here to save the changes. Now in Lightroom, there is one thing that we should do. We need to update the catalog settings. So let's go to the Lightroom menu. Go to Catalog Settings. On the Metadata tab, this box is unchecked by default. <clears throat> we should check this so it always writes the updates into the XMP which would be the XMP sidecar file. And this also makes a backup of your catalog settings. This will allow you to read the metadata from the file without losing any of your existing settings that you've already done inside of Lightroom. Okay, back in Photo Mechanic, I've added some color labels and some star ratings to some images here. I've also added the keywords to reflect the color label and the star ratings. Alright, so what I'm going to do is use the view widgets down here at the bottom. We're not going to send any images without any ratings. And we're not going to send any images without any color labels. So now I can go ahead and select all the visible images. Click and hold on any one of these images for at least a second. That's going to put it into move mode. You'll see the selected count as part of the mouse icon just drag that on top of the Lightroom icon in your dock. This is going to go and send these images off to Lightroom. Now you'll see up at the top this is the same total file count as shown down here in the bottom of Photo Mechanic when the view is set to all. The selected count in Lightroom is going to be shown at the bottom left down here only six photos are selected to go into Lightroom. That's the same six photos that were selected in Photo Mechanic. Make sure you have the Add option set up here at the top and then click the Import button. Now we see that our images came across with the star ratings and the color labels. We have the same six images that came across and if we wanted to change something, let's say we wanted to change this one image here and put five star ratings on it. So we'll update that here in Lightroom and if we go back to Photo Mechanic and refresh the contact sheet actually it looks like Photo Mechanic already picked that up right off the bat with the five star ratings. That is essentially the interaction between Photo Mechanic and Lightroom.